This morning I'm going to fit the outboard for the Record Regent lathe. We've got the bed extension on, that was the last video that we did. And now we're going to go on and fit the outboard. So we've got the contents of the box here. And what you get in your box is we get the component parts there, as you can see. They're all wrapped up in the plastic. It's well packaged in the polystyrene and they will all be coated in a light coat of oil. So what I've got is the WD-40 fast acting degreaser to clean them up before we fit them on. And I'll do that now. You would see the, the bed extension cleaned in the last video. So I'll skip straight through the cleaning and go on to the fitting. We've emptied all of the contents out of the box and I've cleaned them all down now with the degreaser. So we've got the parts here. What we've got, I'm just going to step underneath there because I'm also going to do some recording from the boom. We've got a tool rest here to go with the, the new banjo. Just lift that under there. And I brought the head forward to make it easier for fitting. We've got the two lever locks, the M12 lever locks. And then we've got the lever lock for the actual tool rest on the banjo. We've got the bar to go through onto the banjo with the washers and we've got the banjo here, we've got the extender bar there and we've got the main frame, the H frame which has an H section in there to go down onto the slides when we fit it. Also what we've got, we've got two M10 bolts and I've got the spring washers and single washers on there so I'm going to screw these into here and then we'll slide this component part onto the end of the lathe. So I'm just going to put these M10 bolts into there and just turn them by hand. This one into here, I'll, I'll use this hand so that I'm not covering up the camera. So the, as you can see, they're going nicely and easily into there. We've got the sprung washer and the ordinary washer. We'll wind that into there and then what I'll do is I'll test it, see that it fits. And we'll try it onto here to see if we can get that through there. And yeah, that slides on nicely. You can see I've got a gap there of around about 10 to 12 mil. I'll bring that up flush and tighten up the bolts by hand and then we'll go on to the next stage. I tightened up the nuts by hand and then I nipped them up with the spanner that's supplied actually with the accessories and I did have a little helper with me. I just put my gloves back on again, these black gloves, because they're good for grip to hold that. Because what I want to do is slot that M12 bolt through there, onto there, hold that and then I want to press that with my thumb. I've got the lever to go underneath, so it's a matter of popping the, the washer onto there. Again, you're holding it with both hands there and then screw that on to the washer. That's it, thread onto there. I'll just grab hold of this with my hand at the top there we are pulling down into the recess for the nut on the board with the head of the board there we are it's locked tight into there so it's nice and tight on there and then what you need to do is take the other washer and this black bar that's it it's another m12 with the section on there so we can just pop that underneath there again I'll hold that in you've got to stretch your fingers for this one and then I need the, the lever lock there again I'll get down here and start that off there there we are just wind that around there we are, there's the banjo, the lever lock there. Oh, that's it. It's on a spring nut so you can move it. There we are. And there is the banjo secured. So we can actually move the banjo around like that into that position. And we'll put the tail rest in. 
Okay, that's the outboard, that's the main section fitted to the end of the lathe. And then the section that we can use, we can move that round there on the outrigger just to give us our maximum size and our maximum diameter. And if you look on the specs, the spec says that it will do a maximum diameter of a metre or 39 inches, which is huge. And but the lathe will take it, especially with the weight and the horsepower of the motor. So I am going to do a platy on here or maybe a wall sculpture. So we'll do something that's uh, that's different and we'll be able to have the, the box here positioned in a safe place for when we do the turn in for the variable speed. We've got the banjo fitted onto here and again the lever locks there dead easy to move around and put wherever you want to put it just lock it into position. You don't have to over tighten the, the engineering is superb so you just have to nip it up. So we've got the tail rest just to go into there and that there we go into there we've got that well we put it into the right position and we've got another lever lock just to go into here and there we are again a sprung bound lever lock it's all positioned ready to use for turning so what we'll do is we'll just bring the head back over and the head I'll just loosen it off with the, the bar here Onto there, you can see the head's loose now, and then I can just bring that back to here and then swivel it around so we can turn it around to whatever position we want. If I bring it around even to 90 degrees, there, there we are, move it along here. The maximum diameter is a meter, so we're going to need this 500 millimeters from there. So I'll position it on around about that position. And then what I can do, I can actually make sure it's in the right place. I'll use a square, pop the square onto there, and there we are. I can see, that's it. The head's in nice and square on the lathe there. So all I need to do is just use the lever bar again around this side, lock it into position. There we are, and again you just need to nip it up. Don't over tighten things because they, they fit perfect so they just need nipping up. Loosen off the banjo there, we could take that round, position that like that, and then I can swing that round to here, onto there, and there we go. We've got our till rest set up on there. into whatever position we want and if I lift the rest up to about centre height there, yeah, 6 mil below the centre is generally where I like it, I'll take the step centre out so that's the outboard fitted I've moved the head along the bed and I've popped the SC4 chuck on just to let you see the chuck and the position of the outboard this is very movable you can move it around wherever you want it you can get it into whatever position you like just nip it up with the locking lever turn the tool rest around to there that's your tool rest your your ball turning tool rest or your large tool rest for the platters as well this could be used with the balls I can take that off and I can pop the standard tool rest into there and pop that onto there which is ideal but of course when not in use what I'll do is I'll just fold it away. Can you see I've got the controls with the magnet on top of here as well so we can set it away while we're working and just unlock the stop, set it away on there and you can see the lathe purring like a kitten. So looking forward to turning a lovely big platter or a big wall sculpture and uh, we'll put it through its paces. So I'll just show you now we can put it away to one side when I'm not using it and I'll take the tool rest out of here I'm going to put the controls back on the side of the lathe there and what we can do is just loosen the lever lock off there I can loosen the banjo 
and actually I'll tighten that lever lock off leave a lock on there while I loosen the banjo up. pull the banjo around to there and then tighten that bring it down with a spring so as it's out of the road loosen that off here swing it round there and there we are it's in a secure position let's have a look that's it tightened up on there and push that into there Tighten that up onto there, levers are out of the road, everything's out of the road there. I could even if I wanted to loosen that off and bring this round, take it farther round that way. Move it over to there, then it's out of the road. And there we are, I've got that away from there. What I might do, I might make a little table or something that will just sit on here that I could put some tools on while I'm working. So I'm just going to swivel the head back onto here, swivel it round to here again. You see how easy it is. Bring it back to there. Now, if I wanted to go right the way back, what I'll have to do, I'll have to remember I need to bring the banjo around here so that that is not in the road of the motor. That's it sprung lever so it makes it easier to tighten it's out of the way back to here take it to its maximum there and then line it up you can line up on the bed there what I will do is I'll do the kiss test when I bring the tailstock up and I'll actually show you how to do the kiss test now I'll just tighten that up to there we'll pop the center into the Lathe, pop that down, I'll just take the chip off and then we can pop the centre in there, get the tailstock centre, I'll move the banjo up to here, I'll bring the tailstock up. Pop the center into there, wind on the quill until it engages and then wind it on and if you look on here, if you look at that point there, can you see that point is just slightly out, if we, if we put the camera right above, over the top of it, you can see that the point is just slightly out, so what I'll do is loosen the head, just loosen that off and then I'll just tap that I'll have to look through the camera to line it up, there we are, tap that like that, wind the quill on until the two points kiss, that's why it's called the kiss test, and tighten it up and there you are, they will be running perfectly when you have spindle work. So there we go, that's the two accessories fitted for now we've got the bed extension fitted on the lathe and we've got the outboard fitted on the lathe and it's out of the road it's not going to cause any problems while I'm turning and I'm looking forward to turning some large scale turnings with the outboard as well as in between centers.